Welcome to the Somme Vigil podcast series, which tells the story of the Battle of the Somme in the words of those who were there. I'm Simon Bendry, Director for UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. This series was commissioned by the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport and developed in partnership with the First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme and Chrome Radio. It was first released to accompany the Somme 100 Vigil at Westminster Abbey, held through the night of the 30th of June and into the morning of the 1st of July 2016, to mark the centenary of the Battle of the Somme. In this podcast, we hear from a driver in the mechanical transport section of the Army Service Corps, which was responsible for supplies to the front. The Army Service Corps was in charge of supplies to the front, using motor vehicles as well as horse-drawn transport. Those few who were drivers in civilian life were in great demand in the Corps' mechanical transport companies. Corporal Osman Flowers joined up at Doncaster in October 1915. According to his enlistment documents, he was 5 feet 6 inches tall. After two months' training, he was sent to France as a driver in the mechanical transport section of the Army Service Corps, arriving at Rouen just before Christmas 1915. I was a driver. I'd been a driver before the war and a fitter as well. I had a licence, but in those days it didn't matter if you didn't have any legs on, if you didn't have any arms or even any eyes. If you wrote up for a driving licence and sent five shillings, you got one. I joined up in 1915. There was an offer advertised in the papers. Six shillings a day for drivers and fitters if they joined the army. Well, the Tommy was only getting a shilling a day, and I knew if I joined up I'd get my choice of job, but if conscription came in, that would be that. It wasn't just the money. I wanted to go into something where I didn't need to use a gun. It was all right until the Somme got really bad. We used to run the rations up to the line or as near as we could get. We used to help the Tommies up too because there was a tremendous number of troops going up. One of the worst jobs I used to have was when a division was going up. They were marching, of course, and we would relieve them of their blankets so that they wouldn't have to carry them. Well, they was all rolled up and it wasn't a case of, this is my blanket, that's your blanket. You got a blanket and it didn't matter whose it was when you got to the end of your journey. Of course, these were all stuffed into my lorry until it was completely full. It wasn't so much a lorry full of blankets as a lorry full of lice. We were covered. They were all over us and that happened again and again. I was attached to the motor transport department of the Army Service Corps and it was mainly supplies we were taking up to the dumps. We used to load up in the afternoon and deliver in the morning and there was every kind of thing we had to carry, including food and stuff for the mules and horses as they were further up the field than we were. One day you would load up with coal for the cooks, the next day you would be on tin stuff that was all on boxes, the next day you would be on hay. If you got that you were well away because we had to sleep in our lorries once we had loaded up sleep literally on top of the load. One night we had frozen sides of beef. Well, there were horses, mules, men, bodies strewn all over the place. If hell was ever let loose, it was let loose then. A few of those nights I went out I used to dread going, not so much because of the danger to myself, but because I didn't know what damage I was doing to other people. You couldn't see them. It was too dark. Osman Flowers survived the war, but his wife, Adelaide, died of the Spanish flu the day before the armistice. He died in 1981, aged 90. You have been listening to The Story of the Somme, a Chrome Radio production for the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport, in partnership with UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. The producer was Katrina Oliphant. In the next podcast, a member of the Bavarian Infantry Regiment describes the new land ships in action.